All right, y'all, so we made it to the restaurant Sky and Vine on our rooftop. It is so pretty up here. We have the sunset. I'll show some little clips in here, but it's really pretty. The sun is shining. It's so beautiful out here. As you can see, the lighting is superb, and it's just a real chill vibe. And so we're going to get some food, get some drinks, and see what else we can get into tonight. But it is really, really fun. To see what Napa has to offer. Thank you. Okay, y'all. Yeah. Okay. Okay, okay, y'all. Hey, we are. Today is the day we are going to head on our wine tours. So we just got downstairs. I'm waiting on my husband to come back because he forgot his sunglasses upstairs. But we just hopped so in our sorry. car. Yes. Yes. Thank you guys. Enjoy. 
It's a lot more spooky. Oops. I like it. I think it's kind of like, hmm. But I like sparkling wine, so you're not really a sparkling wine person. You don't like the bubbles and stuff? It's not a fave. You wouldn't choose it, but you choose me. Hmm. <laughs> okay, y'all, I think our favorite is the avant-garde Pinot Noir. It is so smooth and just silky, and it actually has bright sweet fruit. It's intensely aromatic and with notes of pomegranate, red raspberry, black cherry, warm oak, and a touch of cinnamon. So if you are ever in the Napa area, make sure that you come to Domaine Carneros and make sure you try the avant-garde Pinot Noir. Um, hubby really loves it. I think we're gonna order a bottle when we go home, but for now, it is so beautiful out here. Look at this. Look at this. And we're actually on the, we're not outside like in the sun, cause we were just like, eh, whatever. But we're right here, like inside a little bit, but the doors are open so we can still get the outside feel. And um, it's just beautiful. Customer service has been great. Our guide has been great. And we are very pleased with our first tasting. And so next we're gonna head to Arteza. I think that's how you say it which is literally across the way. It's not even five minutes away. So I'm really excited to go there because it's definitely a, it's definitely a different vibe, a different feel. Um, the grounds are gorgeous. I can't wait to see them in person, but it's definitely different from Domain Carneros, which I try to be very intentional about and just, because there's so many wineries and vineyards out here. It's a lot, but I tried to be strategic in the ones that I chose so that we could get a different vibe and a different feel everywhere that we went today. So, keep hanging on and keep watching for the rest of our wine tour. <sighs> Y'all, that tasting was so good. And we just headed to the restroom. We're about to head over to Arteza, like I said before. And we're going to see how it goes because it's going to give a totally different vibe. And like I said before, I wanted to be strategic about the wineries and the vineyards that we visited because I didn't want us to be seeing the same thing over and over and getting the same vibe over and over again. Like we need uh, something different, right? So we're about to head over to Arteza. So come on, let's go. Now we gotta go find our driver. I don't know where he, oh, there he is right there. He already pulling up. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> he said, I'm ready. I'm gonna keep tasting a little bit and enjoying the the views and enjoying just the time right away from the kids. We love them kids at home. Um, so this is your time. This is your moment. This is your reminder to leave them kids at home and go have some time together because that's what is going to sustain you. That's what's going to help you. And when the kids are gone, you're gonna have you and your spouse anyway. So you might as well go ahead and get out.
Okay, y'all, so we are finishing up at Arteza and it was amazing. The views were spectacular. And this movie, I don't know if you guys can see it, Wine Country on Netflix, is actually a movie that this winery in particular was actually featured in. So if you have not watched it, go ahead and watch it. But it's beautiful as you guys have seen or will see some point in this video. Now we're about to go ahead and go get some food because we're hungry and we've been drinking a lot of wine. <laughs> um, and so, yeah, we're about to go get some food and then we're gonna head to our third and final winery because rule of thumb, don't think that you big macho and you can do more than three or four wineries in a day because no. Yeah, we're gonna get some food and we'll catch you guys up later. Okay guys, we left Arteza and it was amazing. Like I said, the vibe was amazing, it was beautiful. The scenery was great. So we decided to make a pit stop at Jack's Diner, which we were here yesterday, but mind your business. We came back for a little snack for some lunch before we head to our third and final winery. And um, I'm just looking forward to the food. Just yesterday was great. We both decided to try something different and something new. So we'll definitely let you guys know how that was for us. But it's so good, the cute little spot. If you're in that book, of course, try Jack's Diner. Um, so far, it's treated us well. The, um, the people here are so nice, so generous, and just really great. So we're gonna eat some food real quick, and then we're gonna head back out to our third and final winery, like I said before. And we'll let you guys know how that goes. We're supposed to do like a little tour in the cave. So that's gonna be really nice. We're going to Piazza del Dodo, and I'll, put it on the screen um, once we get there and all that but I'm really really excited about this one because this one it gives again a different vibe like I said I was very intentional about what I wanted to um, reserve and where we wanted to go and spend this day so I'm really excited and I'm, I can't wait to go um, but so far today has been really really good and it's really chill my husband is catching up with our boys with the pick I kind of was like sad because I don't want to get on the phone and then they get sad that I'm not there that would break my mommy heart so my mama's y'all know how it is so um he's catching up with them really quick and I've been texting I've been catching up via text um so I'm good on that but I can't wait to get some food y'all I'm so hungry and I'm really sleepy I'm not gonna hold y'all but it's all good it's just really good to get out and I have some one-on-one -on -one time with my hubby because my sports wives, y'all know, whether you are married to dating a coach or a player, it can be a lot. And we sacrifice a lot in our daily lives, just in our marriages. Overall, we don't get as much time with them. We have people pulling at them all the time. So it just feels really good to get some time alone and just enjoy each other and catch up and just enjoy each other's time so this is your tip this is your cue to leave them kids at home okay leave them kids at home and go have some fun and give it your spouse and have some fun one time because y'all need it we need it and i'm enjoying it okay okay so our food has come we finally asked for it um we got it in a box just because we need to go to our next location so i got a burger and some truffle fries and i think hubby got a burger too he got a cheeseburger with the bottle rock tots which i was telling you guys about the other day so good so good so good
Okay, y'all, we are at Piazza del Dodo and it is so beautiful here. It has been a great time here. I know you can hear the music in the background. Sorry if it's a little loud. I'm right by a speaker, but it is so gorgeous. If you have never been to Napa or if you decide to visit, definitely make sure that you come check out this winery and vineyard. It is so great with a rich history. Our guide was amazing and shared so much valuable information with us and he just made it feel real personal, right? And so I've thoroughly enjoyed it. My husband definitely enjoyed it. If you are or your spouse is a Cabernet lover, this is the place for you. So like I said, they have a unique history, a rich history. And so it's been really, really good to just kind of learn more about the Napa area, learn more about this space in particular. All the wineries that we've visited today have been amazing and great and in their own right. They've stood by themselves and stood alone. And so we've actually found wines that we love from each one, surprisingly enough. So we found, like I said, wines that we love from each one. And so it's been really good. It's been a great tour that we've been on. And so I'm just... I'm full of food because they definitely gave us pizza and tots here. I think that's a thing for Napa. So I'm literally full, but I'm just full of like gratitude and just enjoying the moment, enjoying the time with my husband and just having this time away to just enjoy the beautiful creations of God. Like this is just amazing to see the different spaces that God has created and given us to enjoy. And so... I hope that you make it out if you haven't come to Napa before. Definitely make sure you make it to the wineries that we mentioned. And there are, we've learned there are about 600 or so out here. Even though Napa is a quite, it's a small space. There's still about 600 plus wineries and vineyards out here. And so you have plenty to choose from. So these are three that I definitely recommend. And I'm going to get back to finish this pizza so we can get ready to head out and go to our next Thing, which I think we're gonna go to the hotel for a little bit and just kind of chill and then get some dinner and see what else the night has for us but it's been a good day it's been a really really good day so so for dinner we stopped at Charlie Palmer Steakhouse which bingo as you can see is located right inside our hotel at the Archer so that was perfect I did not know that before we went but I did mention this restaurant to my husband because we love to try new steakhouses and as you can see, we had a plethora of different things, <laughs> weird combos, but good nonetheless.
y'all I'm back and we just got back from dinner at RH Yountville location and we went and had dinner there for our anniversary because today's our anniversary on July 11th and so um, we made reservations there and we just got back to the hotel so we're kind of kicking it just kind of playing it by ear for tonight sorry if it's a little windy um, I'm out there outside on the uh, balcony again because I love it out here and I love to be able to see everything and just to be able to see the mountains and all the things but we started the morning actually sorry I haven't been able to talk to you guys all morning but we started the morning off with a nice massage our hotel spa is actually closed on Tuesdays and Wednesdays so we had to make a pivot with that and one of the concierge members was kind enough to actually make us a list of spots to try so we just kind of reached out to them and checked them out and we went to one that was not that far we actually decided to walk even though we have a rental we decided to walk just to get some exercise and just be out during the day and just enjoy that and just have some time together and so it was a really nice walk really quick about 10 minutes from where we are maybe even less than that actually it wasn't that far of a walk at all it was really nice the weather is super nice um and so we walked to get our massage which was amazing and was actually a great price for the time frame i think it was maybe an hour and a half couples massage and like i said the pricing when you look at the different prices of the spas and things like that it was really good it was really intimate really small not all the bells and whistles but it was really good and they were really really intentional about what they were doing and making sure that they paid attention to their bodies and you know okay sorry um but they were you know really really intentional about like taking time to figure out our bodies and figure out our stress points and areas and get all the knots out and things like that so i really really appreciate it and we really really needed that um especially getting back to getting ready to get back into you know football season and things like that like i told my husband like, he really really needed to i wanted to make sure that he was able to get a massage and just have that time to get his body worked out before he gets back in the groove of things not that he ever left the groove of things obviously because it's always going but uh that's a really cool car but nonetheless i'm really really glad that we got to do that so we did that and then after we got our massages we went to the housley's tasting room where we actually got to meet adam i did not record it because i just feel like it's weird to record people all the time or you know like it just wasn't that type of vibe but i'm not a person that's gonna pull up my camera every time i see somebody we weren't able to see tamara she didn't pop up but it was really cool to chat with adam and cool that he had some connections that we had as well especially with sports and things like that he's a big baseball guy and so we had some connections with the school and things like that that we we're at so we were able to have a really nice conversation with him he gave us his recommendations on the flight to you know pursue and things like that and so it was really good we really enjoyed them and then after that we went to our appointment at the browns estate which is one of the first black owned wineries or tasting rooms here in napa which was really really dope the vibe was amazing our guide was super sweet she was very knowledgeable and she enlightened us and educated us on so many things and so we really really enjoyed that and like i said we came back we got freshened up a little bit and then we went to our age for dinner so now we're gonna play by ear and i'll show you guys some clips um here or before some at some point in the video of all the things that i just mentioned and so it's just been a really really good time here in napa i'm really really glad that we came and if you're looking for something slow to do to just kind of like have some time and just be intentional and whatever napa is the place for you i'm so glad that we kind of stayed downtown we weren't gonna be like we knew we weren't gonna be in the room that much so it wasn't like a big deal to be like off at a resort and you know all the things because there's a lot of things that come with a resort and i love a good resort out of the country but here i just i'm glad that we stayed kind of central to everything because literally the brown state was 0.2 miles up the road and then um i think the houses was like 0.9 and everything else all of the vineyards and wineries that we went to to do our tastings yesterday were within a 15 mile or not even 15 mile within a 15 minute range which is not far at all so it was really really good i planned it out perfectly so our driver came to pick us up we went to each place we got lunch in between and then we ended the night yesterday so it was really really good so i definitely highly recommend staying in downtown napa if you get a chance if you're 
I mean, you get a little bit of views, but of course, again, downtown is downtown. So you're going to have buildings, you're going to have all the things, which I'm not mad at because, again, like if you take a look, you have the buildings and things like that down here, but then you also still have the mountains. I know you can't see it very well, but you have the mountains and things like that all over there as well. So you still get a pretty good view and all that. So I'm not mad at it at all. Like I said, we weren't just stuck in the room the whole time anyway. So it was really good. 10 out of 10, highly recommend. Okay, y'all, hey, I'm back. Sorry, I feel like I just abruptly ended the vlog where I didn't come back and officially like end everything, but I wanted to talk to you a little bit more in detail about what our experience was like in Napa and if you are planning to go to Napa anytime soon or if you've even been to Napa, let us know how your experience was in the comments so we can get to it because I loved it. I really had a great time. My husband had a great time and I'm just glad that we were able to get some time away. My sports wives, coaches wives, like y'all already know, we don't get a lot of time with our husbands. And so that was really our only time that we could get away. And it was our first time doing a solo trip since having our boys, which our oldest is four. So you can imagine how much we really, really needed this time away. And so I'm glad we really took it. And um, I'm happy with what all was planned and how everything was executed. As you saw, we stayed in downtown Napa at the Archer Hotel, which was perfect we were exploring some other hotels like the alila and things like that but we knew that we kind of wanted to be central to everything and when we looked on the map and we looked at and i started to like kind of look at the different wineries and vineyards that i wanted to visit and plug those hotels in i just found that the archer downtown was the most central location um because there's about 600 or more wineries and vineyards in napa that's a lot to sort through um, and so I kind of had to narrow them down several times to see what we wanted to hit for this short amount of time Even though we were there for about four or five days. It's still not a lot of time to get everywhere that you want to go. So We stayed at the Archer phenomenal Service it was great um, Like I said, we knew we wanted to be central to everything and a lot of things that I wanted to do I found that were literally within walking distance for the most part. So that was perfect for us if you're looking for more of a resort style or like you want to be off just where it's quiet and peaceful and you know you're going to be in your room or on your hotel grounds or resort grounds for a while the alila might be a better fit or somewhere else um, with the archer we had a nice enough view we were fine but again we knew we weren't going to be just sitting in the room the whole time so it really didn't matter but the hotel itself is beautiful as you guys can see from the pictures and the videos that i've already shared um, but we got there we flew into san francisco drove on up to napa the ride was so smooth it was about an hour and 30 minute drive but of course we ran into traffic when we got there so which even the traffic wasn't that bad the ride seemed to go by like that so i'm not mad at it it's not that bad an hour and a half max without traffic it's definitely way shorter of a drive than that um, but we got in we got freshened up we got a little bite to eat while we waited for them to get our hotel room ready and then they greeted us with some glasses of rosé which was super sweet for our anniversary because obviously they knew that and then we got freshened up and we actually went up to our rooftop which they have a restaurant called Sky and Vine at the rooftop of the Archer, which is a hot local spot and tourist spot. So that was pretty cool. Really, really nice. Beautiful view. Beautiful experience. The food was good. My husband said that burger was banging, okay? And so I just kept it light that night because I just wasn't feeling like doing anything too heavy. But my food was amazing as well. I definitely recommend going if you're ever in Napa. And I definitely recommend the Archer Hotel as well. And then the next day is when we did our wine tour. I set that day up just for us to do our wine tour because it can take anywhere from six to eight hours to get through three or four wineries. I definitely do not suggest doing more than three. Four is pushing it. But definitely scheduling time to get food between. I would not suggest doing them back to back to back. So I set up our itinerary where one, we had a driver. Highly recommend if you're looking for somebody or you're looking to go to Napa soon, let me know and I will send you the info because you need a driver. Do not risk it. There's no reason to. Just relax, enjoy the time and let someone else be responsible for that, you know, for the driving and things like that. That's the best decision we could have made and I'm so happy we did. We got a driver and we started our day about, started our wine tasting about 10 a.m. Um, and we went to Domaine Carneros, which you guys saw. And it was beautiful. The grounds were beautiful. The experience, it was very romantic. It gave Italy, it just was really, really nice. Really beautiful. 
Our server was amazing, very knowledgeable, and we found this one wine that we really, really loved. So I definitely recommend it. 10 out of 10 recommend and try this one if you get a chance to go there. After that, we went over to Arteza, which was about five minutes away. So we did do those two back to back, which was giving a very more modern feel. The views from Arteza were amazing. Like I could not stop just looking over the hills and the vineyard and things like that. Like it was just beautiful. Again, definitely very different. After that, we went ahead and left and went to get something to eat because it was definitely about that time. Um, after you're trying wine after wine after wine, each flight is about three or four wines plus the rosé that they start you with, almost as a palate cleanser, which I thought was very, very interesting. I didn't know that if you did, kudos to you, but I did not know that. So everywhere we went pretty much started us off with a rosé to pretty much cleanse our palate and get us prepared for the wines that we would be tasting. And so they gave us all the wines. After that, we left and we went ahead and grabbed some food at Jack's Mule Diner again, because yes, it was that good, but I had already planned on us going there for today versus when we first got there. We didn't know our room wasn't gonna be ready and it just happened to be right around the corner. So we were like, all right, cool, we'll try it now. But we did still go back to Jack's Mule because we enjoyed it so much um, and grabbed some food really quick and then hopped back in the car to go to the next place. So the first two wineries, although they were five minutes apart, they were about 15 minutes from our hotel in one direction. So going back to our hotel area to eat and then shooting up 15 minutes to the other vineyard was genius um it was genius and i'm so glad again that i planned it that way our itinerary was laid out to the t thanks to me but it was perfect once we got our food we headed up to piazza del dodo if you get a chance please go they have three different locations they also have an estate and i think some other other version of it but it was beautiful. We got to do the cave tour there, which was a different experience from the first two wineries where we kind of just sat and enjoyed each other and conversation, enjoyed the views and all of that. This one was much more interactive. Our guide was amazing, very knowledgeable. We actually got to meet the owner. He actually popped in. He would look like an average guy, but it was funny because the gentleman had been telling us about him and how he'll just be there watering the plants or people will think that he's the gardener. He's that. That's how like embedded into what he's created he is and I just love that that servant spirit that servant heart that really really touched me so Piazza del Dodo will always have a place in my heart and I will 10 out of 10 recommend but also I recommend it if you're a Cabernet drinker like we are they have some of the best Cabernets and again we did the, the cave tour so we got to actually drink the wine from the barrel this is while they're still cooking so to speak so the fact that they were that good and they weren't even done yet was amazing i can't wait till we order some because it was a must my husband loves cabernet and i by default have become a cabernet drinker because he gets it a lot but i just really really enjoyed it and enjoyed the experience and actually after we got done doing the wine tour and the tasting we went over to another part they served us with more wine and a whole thing of pizza just for us to enjoy and we were able to walk around the garden area and things like that which was really really beautiful really calming and a perfect way to end our tours wine tasting so those three wineries and vineyards i definitely recommend that you check them out if i had to rate them in order of my favorite to least i probably would say domain carneros as one piazza del dodo two and arteza three Piazza del Dodo and Domain Carneros are probably tied at one because they're very different experiences, but impactful at the same time. Arteza wasn't as impactful to me, so I wouldn't rate it as high. It would still be three, even if there was no two. Um, but still, it gives a different ambiance. There's a different architecture that's, you know, unique as well. So I could still appreciate the experience there. But the wines at Domaine Carneros and Piazza del Dodo were also phenomenal compared to Arteza as well, in my opinion. So don't shoot the messenger if you like Arteza. Um, and then the next day we went to do some more wine tasting at two of the tasting rooms. So one, the first one that we went to was the Housley's Tasting Room. If you're familiar with Tien Tamara Maori, sister, sister, y'all already know. Um, but Tamara Housley, and her husband Adam actually had a wine tasting room in Napa and we had to go visit again that one was 0.2 miles from our hotel so we just walked around the corner and just chilled and it was very cool we actually got to meet Adam he walked in and we were he was just standing there like hey how y'all doing y'all cool like whatever uh, I think he was just kind of passing through 
Um, but it was really cool. My husband and he got to have a dope conversation, of course, about sports. He's in the baseball. He had, you know, some a friend that used to work where my husband is now. And so it was really cool to just kind of chop it up with him and get to know him and just have general conversation with him. We did not get to meet Tamara. She did not pop in, which was fine. Our experience was still dope. The music, the playlist, whoever had the ox was banging, okay? Uh, it was really good. It was a vibe from my 80s, 90s babies. Y'all would have loved it. Um, but it was just real chill and we could appreciate that. We had no problem with that. It was not giving the same vibe that a winery or a vineyard would be giving. So just know that if you go to Napa and you decide to go to tasting rooms, it is going to be much of a chiller vibe more than likely. And if I'm honest, the wine is not as punch packed as at the wineries and vineyards. Again, my opinion may not be yours. You may find something that fits your palate better at a tasting room, which is fine. But after we went to the Housleys, we actually went around to Brown's Estate, which is a black owned tasting room in Napa. We had to go because, I mean, that's a non-negotiable. Do we really have to talk about that? You know, um, but it was great. The experience was great. The vibe in there was great, as you can see. It was beautiful. Our server, she was amazing, very knowledgeable, gave us a lot of background information on the Browns and how they began starting, even her own experience coming to um, Napa and things like that. So it was really good. And I recommend definitely stopping through if you get a chance for sure. It was beautiful. I loved how they had everything just set up and it was just dope. But again, still not my phone. But again, just more of a chill vibe than you would get at a winery or a vineyard. Not to say that there was anything that was pressure filled there, but it was just different. You know what I mean? But yeah, after that, we went ahead and grabbed some dinner at RH, which was beautiful. I love that restaurant. I just love the aesthetics. If you've been to RH, you already know. Like, how can you not enjoy some chandeliers in the tree? Like, who does that? You know what I mean? Like, I just appreciated it. Um, and the food was great as well. So I can't complain about that. Like, it was great. I'm glad we got a chance to go and finally check out RH in Napa. If you get a chance, I definitely recommend going. We were also able to check out Charlie Palmer's. What I did not know was that that restaurant, because I had suggested it to my husband. I was like, oh, they have this steakhouse there. Maybe we could check it out. I did not realize that the steakhouse was located in our hotel. So once again, the Archer Hotel is the place to be. And we were able to check that out. The food there was great as well. Um, it was really chill. Um, just to kind of just, get, just grab some food. And we are just like, oh, let's check it out. You know what I mean? And then after that, once we left Napa, um, we went up to San Francisco for the day because we got to get ready to fly out. We went up to San Francisco the day before our flight to just hang out a little bit. We wanted to go shop and or at least look around. And then we met up with some friends for dinner, which was amazing. Again, my coaching family, sports families, you know, we don't get a lot of time with our husbands because they are busy, busy, busy. So it was so nice to just catch up with some good friends and new friends as far as our husbands go and just have a really good time. So I don't have a lot of footage there. I don't barely have any um, to share with you guys because that was just a really intimate time. And I just wanted to soak it all up and just enjoy my friend and enjoy my husband being able to just chill and have a regular night, you know what I mean? Versus something that's focused on work. So I was just really, really happy and full from hanging out with them. We went to Mastro's in downtown San Francisco and it was great, the service was amazing. Our night was just, it was the perfect way to cap our overall trip. And so I'm so glad we did. I'm so glad and grateful that they came up and spent some time with us and made time in their busy schedules as well to just come be with us because that was really special and meant a whole lot to us for sure so again i said all this to say like i said i just wanted to come back and make sure that i close it all in and let you guys know what i thought about napa and our trip and hopefully to help you if you're planning to go to napa soon and if not or you've been again let us know below what you thought if you've been to the same places or not so that we can all you know see where else we need to go because i definitely plan on going back and I want to try new places. So let me know in the comments if there's anywhere that you went when you went to Napa that you loved or enjoyed that I should check out. And if not, let me know if it helped you or if you're planning a trip to Napa because I got you. But until next time, I thank you for coming by and watching my video. And I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye. <music>